Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Gibson Hustle where we discuss different hustles of business and investing with the main driver to build wealth over time. This playlist is basically a weekly portfolio update where I hope to take you on a journey to grow 50K into a million bucks over a 10 year period. This will be purely in the ASX and we'll be using the quality of value methodology. This is episode 17 and exciting to announce, we just went from 75 to 76K this week. Without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so the structure. We'll have a look at the sells and the buys we made this week. We'll have a quick overview of the QAV stock's performance, both over the last week and since inception. Then we'll have a nugget part where you should hopefully learn something new each week. Then the income and owner contributions, which will lead us to an overall portfolio value. And last but not least, we'll have a bonus sign-off quote. Well guys, unfortunately, one of our stocks, CGF, breached the sell line on Tuesday, and we had to sell. As you can see here, it breached at $6.50, and it kept going down to $6.32. So we ended up getting out at an average price of $6.45, and this was our first capital gains of the portfolio, banking just over 200 bucks, or just shy of 2%. Now when we sell, we need to replace. So on Wednesday, we added Grange resources to the portfolio. We got a 10K position entering in at 83 and a half cents a share. We'll discuss this position a bit later, but welcome Grangey. So benchmark time, how did XJO fare this week? Well, deja vu, hey? They were down 0.8% again over the past week of trading. All the gains that were made during the week were unfortunately lost on the Friday. So how did our stocks do this week? Well, we already know CGF was down, but we only wore 1.89% of it. Aurelia came to the party with a nice gain of 7.14%. But as we know, this stock bounces around like crazy. So I don't expect to see it sitting there next week. So how did we compare against XJO? Well, overall, we're up 1.04% compared to a negative 0.8%. So just over 1x. Not bad, not bad. All right, so since inception, we have a pure capital gain of positive 4.4%. The portfolio still has a dividend return of 1.95%. This gives us a total return of positive 6.35%. New record, guys, I believe. Now for the updates on the list. Refer back to app 11, four and a half minutes in. Link above for what the terminology for each buy, hold, and sell means. This week wasn't too bad, only a few to report. So we'll see the changes from last week. So here's all last week's buys, holds, and sells. The ones that changed are as follows and why. So Challenger, as we know, became a sell. And the reason it did is because it breached the sell line. Grange Resources entered our list as a buy. ING moved back to sell as it breached its sell line as well. Remember, do your own research. As much as I say it, I'm not perfect. All right, guys, today's nugget section is going to be about Grange Resources Limited, the stock that we just purchased this week. The ticker, GRR. And lol, I just realized that ticker was grr. I hope these guys don't make us grr. Yeah, all right, I'll stop now. Basically, these guys own and operate one of the biggest magnetite iron ore mining and pellet production businesses in Australia. They are located in the northwest region of Tassie, about 100k southwest of the city of Burnie. The Savage River Mine has a few pits and is fully owned by Guru, with leases on the land in place. Then about 70k northwest of Burnie is Port Lata, which is also owned by Grange, which is a pallet and port facility producing 2.2 million tonnes of iron ore products. Then there is the South Down Magnetite Project, which is located 90 k's from Albany over in WA. And it is a joint venture between Grange 70% and SRT 30%. A definitive feasibility study was completed in 2012 with most regulatory approvals in place. Grange is just seeking an equity partner for a strategic share in the project. And then last but not least, they have the North Pit Underground Development Project, where they are planning to go underground in the current Savage River mine in Tassie to increase the mine life for another 10 years or so. The DFS has been completed and is subject to board approval in H1 2022. There's so much more I want to babble on about these guys because I just basically went through all their reports today, their last four quarters, and had a good read. But that's basically just an overview of their operations and future projects. The share has actually had a good run lately, excluding the hit from the iron ore price but it seems to have recovered well and it is still trending up. Hopefully they keep up like that. Grr. <laughs> All right, so our cash account is now at 8432. With our 8432 in cash, plus our 68083 in stocks, takes us to an overall value of 76515 bucks, which is about a positive 
0.92% total portfolio gain from last week. Well, that's a wrap, guys. Please make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and tickle that bell to get notified when my weekly updates come out. If you want to see anything else in the playlist, just please leave us a comment below. I'll make sure I reply to you all. Now, you guys all know the saying, keep healthy and wealthy. See you guys.